Have you ever gone hunting for zombies? Well, I'm Danina O'Donnell with Business as Usual, and today I'm at Zombies of the Corn with Deborah Krisky. Tell us how this whole thing got started. What is Zombies of the Corn all about? Well, it's really, uh, this is our 11th season, and truly we've got fright levels for all ages. Um, from the, the big thing is the, the target shoot. The live, the wagon pulls you through the woods and you get to shoot live target zombies. Oh my goodness. So that's with, what's with really what? unique. What do you shoot them with? With paintball guns. Oh, mm -hmm. very, very And they don't fun. shoot back. The okay. most important thing. You get to shoot them, they don't shoot you back. So that's really, that's the big highlight out here. But we've okay. got so many attractions um, from the 3D Fun Center, which is clowns. Okay, scary clown. Well, like, let's yeah. just say some people are it's just fun. It's a 3D fun. fun center. I know for some reason <laughs> these clowns nobody touches anybody around here, but you there's a lot of gotchas. So we have the 3D fun center. We have um, then you move on up into the compound. Now the compound is where there's a lot of gotchas. Okay, um, a lot of gotchas. gotchas. So when we say we have fright levels for all ages, we really do. Some are more intense than others. So the compound is where you have the most intensity. So you can go through all that. Then we have the Z maze, which and that winds up in Grinchmas land. So oh. that is really for the younger ones. And when we say younger, we mean five and up. The little ones should be going to the pumpkin patches and things. But five and up, they're going to have a good time out here. We've got storytellers every night. Oh, uh, wow. We have face painting. And of course, we have the, the food that you have to have at a, at a haunt event. You know, the funnel cake on a stick and oh. those kinds of fall things. Sounds um, awesome. Now, when are you open? When does this start, first of all, with the zombies of the corn? And are you open just on weekends or how does, what are the hours? So we're opening September 22nd. Okay. And we run Very Friday soon. and Saturday night um, until the middle of October. And then we move into Sunday nights oh, as well. Oh, close so to then, Halloween. Yeah, the last three weeks in October, we do Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Okay. So that's that's great for families or people that have to work on the weekends. They can usually get away on a, on a Sunday night. So that seems yeah. to work well for us. And what time of night does this start usually that they come in? It starts at dark. Ooh. So that usually, and that changes. So early in the season, those first wagons are going to go out about 7.30. Okay. That's when it's dark. And then... Um, you know, as we get later towards Halloween, those things will be riding out there by quarter to seven. Do you need to pre-buy tickets or, or register for these events? Or yeah. can you just show up? Everything is done online nowadays. It's just, and it makes it easier for the customer and for us as well, you know? So you can just go online, you can see what tickets are available, which time slots, because unlike a lot of places where you might be in line for two hours, we don't do that, all nice. right? You get a time slot that's an hour and you'll get in the line for the ride during that time slot and you're, you're gonna go off sometime during that hour. Tell me a little bit about who works this? Like when you're shooting at the zombies, mm -hmm. is it statues and things or are oh, there no. actually people running <laughs> through them? When we say live target zombies, we yeah, they're mean real. live target zombies. Very cool. Yeah, these are, we're so lucky. We've had, like well, this is our 11th year, so we've had staff, over 60% of our staff comes back every year because they wow. love it. And we love them, you know, they do a great job. But yes, these kids, we have them suited up and padded up and they, each one of them, has their own theatrical thing that they're doing. So we guide them about how they're supposed to, you know, what this, nobody wants to shoot somebody that's just doing like, no. Walking. Oh no, oh, I we want active zombies. So we've got them and these kids really, um, kill themselves, kill themselves, <laughs> literally. And get for killed. Us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's very fun. Now, how many people, I saw a really cool wagon with the paintball guns on it. Mm -hmm. How many people does that hold that go through at a time usually? We have two of those um, wagons that are pulled by a tractor. Okay. There's 24 people on a cart. Very fun. Back to back. And there's a gun mounted in front of them. So we load you up and off you go. And then there's a whole storyline that, that you oh. get introduced to on the wagon. Um, and away you go. And it's, it's, I have to say, it's really fun. And you mentioned food. Um, so you, mm -hmm. people can get food when they come here. Like They can, they can. We have food, um, but we also have uh, pavilions that they can rent. Oh. So that you're welcome to bring your own food and uh, you rent a pavilion or you can rent tables. If Let's say you have a party of 15 and you need a couple of picnic tables so that you have a place to party. 
You know? Yeah, you can reserve those. Um, again, a lot of that's done online. So birthdays or any fun event, oh, yeah. you can bring and, oh, yeah. and do something like that. We do a ton of birthday parties, bachelor parties, corporate outings. Really? We've got, yeah, we've got one company that it brings is. out over 150 of his, like, clients. Very fun. And they've been doing that for 10 years. Very, so, very So, fun. yeah, there's all kinds of opportunities to entertain while you're being entertained. You are right now getting ready. I see people prepping for Zombies of the Corn, but this is also open for other things during the year. So tell us how people may recognize your name or what other things you do. Well, yeah, this is located at Three Rivers Paintball and this is our 40th season. So my husband and wow. I started this 40 years ago, hard to believe. Um, so that goes on and fall is also the busiest time for paintball because it's really one of the greatest times to play. It's cool, yes. you know, during the day. So it's really nice. So that's going on uh, every weekend. And then we do corporate stuff during the week. And then we're also gearing up for our new event called Enchanted Lights, a magical Christmas stroll. And that's oh. going to open Thanksgiving this year. So it's a first year event for us, but we've been planning and building this out for the past year. So we're really excited about launching it. It sounds like you and your family keep very busy all year round. We do. We do. We're a production family and um, we're just, it's, it's what we do. We live and breathe this stuff. How do people find out more about Zombies of the Corn? It's really simple. Just go to the website, zombiesofthecorn.com. Everything is on there. Well, thank you so much for letting us come and talk to you folks. There are so many things to do for Halloween in this area. We're very close to Cranberry. So I recommend if you're looking for some good zombie hunting, that <laughs> Zombies of the Corn is the place for you to come. For Armstrong, this is Danine O'Donnell with Business as Usual. Thanks for watching this episode of Business as Usual. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all the shows from the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, you can click on the subscribe button down here. See you next time.